Do you ever have a landlord that won't fix shit? I like to call him a slumlord. Let's take a look at my shit and see what was supposed to have been fixed years ago but never got even touched and just got completely ignored. Let's go on a tour. Well, here's the first thing right here. Look at that. This thing's completely falling apart. Put a screen door. Doesn't even shut. Nope. No matter how much you lift up on it, fucking shut. Oh, look at that. Tile's all broken. Everywhere cracked. Told him about that one about four years ago. Just keeps cracking everywhere. Hmm, cool. Let's take a look in here. Um, there's where the gas line almost blew up and they had to like dig up the whole yard and run a whole new gas line that's all jerry-rigged up around down to the stove, which only two burners work. And we'll go check that out. And here it is, stove. Let's see. Does anything turn on? You can hear the gas. Nothing works. Even if you light it only the back two. Oh, that one actually came on. That's a fucking miracle. Let's go into the bathroom in here. Yeah, my bathroom's kind of dirty, I know, but I mean, look at this. Whoa. Would you, uh, even bother when your fucking shit's all this fucked up? Yeah, that's how I turn on the hot water. And then back around here, you can see all this shit's coming off. It's all bubbled the fuck up. Completely falling apart just nasty and uh up there you can see a giant hole where this, this whole thing shower head just shakes back and forth violently that's cool oh okay here you go the toilet here's how i flush my toilet i uh i had to rig up since there's no handle i had to rig up the string and a couple of spacers and here's the top of the toilet which i had to build it's just a couple of pieces of wood Put that nice wood top back on. That actually works. Boy, they can't take a turd for shit, though. There's some more missing tile. And some more missing tile. Huh, cool. That's real cool. Yep, and here, uh, where the hot water heater's at, I had to uh, take some cardboard and staple it up there, but I left a little vent at the top just to make sure I don't die. Or doesn't blow up. So that's cool. Go back here. There, there's where the sodding's all chewed up and mice are probably getting in. There's the cage we had to use to catch all the uh, raccoons and skunks that come around because he had this tree that was growing up here I told him about. And it went straight up into the rafters. You watched my earlier video. And that's where the raccoons were living. And he didn't bother to fix it. No, he just got the raccoons out and now it's all falling apart and laying on the ground. And back here, you can see that's where they had to rig up the uh, electrical for the new uh, the new heaters they had to put in because nothing fucking worked. You can see the siding's all fucking falling apart like shit everywhere. Yep, slumlord. There's a open dangling electric line. That's nice. Thank you, Slumlord. Well, that's a damn good job right there. I mean, look at that. No mice or cockroaches can get in there, that's for sure. Fucking Slumlord. Let's look out front here. Up here we have what I like to call the Widowmaker. It's like right by the driveway. So, uh, I told him about this one about a year ago. And that's going to fall on someone's head and either really hurt them or kill them. So thanks a lot, Slumlord. Thanks for not fixing shit. Part of his other property where the roof is just falling apart. That's nice. Here there were some animals living under there. He didn't bother to uh, get a new grate or anything. He just put a piece of wood over there and a cinder block. That works. Oh, and uh, see those bricks right there? They go directly underneath the house. That's where the skunk comes out. Yep, pretty cool. There's some more missing siding up there. That blew off about four years ago. Here at one point, I guess a uh, either a bullet or a ball of some sort, maybe some giant hail came through the window, so he just took another piece of plastic and glued it on there. That's beautiful work. 
here's where the smoke detector is supposed to be, but there isn't one. There never has been one. Thanks. So there's the, uh, the, uh, cheap, uh, patch job he did to, uh, repair the wall where it was all leaking. So he used plaster on, uh, the wall, which is actually connected to, uh, some wood cheap paneling. So that looks real nice. Yeah, and it didn't stop the leak for shit. I mean, it still fucking leaks everywhere. So, thanks a lot, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, and there's some tape he used to tape up the window. Where it was cracked and broken. That works real good. Mm, here's some real fun caulking. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to be nailed down anyway. That looks real good. There's the, uh piece of wood paneling that they had to take out when this thing, the old ass uh, heater, started leaking and almost killed me. That was cool. Well, they cut a giant hole in the wall and they uh, never put that back. So, now there's all kinds of creditors that live under there and come out and visit me at night. It's pretty nice. Thanks again, you fucking slumlord. Piece of shit. Let's just take a look back there and see what beyond the spider webs what's living in there. Who knows? Jeez. Thanks, slumlord.